Okay guys, so I keep seeing the same simplistic, kind of simple-minded outlook on the Surface Duo when it comes to the specs and the speed. I keep seeing it. It's only got six gigs of RAM and it's only got a Snapdragon 855, therefore it's slow. All right, the OnePlus 7 Pro had 855, all right? Everyone hailed this phone for being super duper fast, very performant phone. Does it become slow the moment the 865 comes into existence? No, it's still fast. It's still a fast phone today. It was a fast phone six months ago. It'll be a fast phone in six months from now. The Surface Duo has the same, very similar specs to the OnePlus 7 Pro. Is it the newest processor? No. Is it slow because it has an 855 in it? No, that's stupid. It's observably stupid and it's not true. What 99% of people do 99% of the time, the Snapdragon 855 is fast today. It was fast six months ago. It'll be fast in six months. So here's what I'm going to do. My wife has the LG V60 and it has a Snapdragon 865. So we're going to clear the RAM on both of these things. We're going to point a camera at both of them, and we're going to launch the same apps at the same time and see if there is a noticeable speed difference between the two. All right, here we go. We got both phones here. I've dropped the exposure on this camera so that you can actually see both screens a little bit better. I'm going to show you here. No recently used apps. No recent items. Okay, fair fight. All right, let's pick an app. Let's go to Instagram. Oh my God, the 855 was so much slower. How can you ever get by with such a slow processor? All right, let's go to YouTube. Wow, would you look at that? The the the, the slow piece of crap 855 was actually faster there. Crazy. All right, let's go to Netflix. Hey, look at that. Pretty darn similar, right? All right, how about Hulu? Almost identical. Got an email there. <laughs> what about Microsoft News? Pretty, pretty similar, guys. How about Amazon? Obviously, she wasn't signed in there, but still, I think we're beginning to see a pattern emerging here. What about an app that takes forever to load? How about Nest? Pretty similar as well. And of course, the last thing that we need to do is we need to go into the multitasking. We need to go to the first app that we launched, which was Instagram. And guess what? Neither one of them had to reload. I missed my tap on the first time. That was my fault. But neither one of them had to reload that app. They both still had it in RAM because, as it turns out, six gigs of RAM is actually enough. There's YouTube, that was the next one in line. No reloading. I'm sure I could start loading up high-end games and you might find some where the 865 outperformed it. That's fine. But for 99% of day-to-day -day use, the 855, six gigs of RAM, is more than enough. I just opened, what, five, six apps. Common everyday apps, multimedia apps. Then I went all the way back to the first one and it was still in RAM. This is Android, this isn't Windows. We're not running Photoshop. Are there problems with Surface Duo? Absolutely. Are they hardware problems? Absolutely not. They are software problems. Stop saying 855 is slow. It's not slow. If you enjoy my content, please consider becoming a Scary If Literal member. You'll get access to a whole bunch of emoticons to use with live streams and a shout out on an upcoming video. Thanks as always for your continued support.